If you make firearms, let us show you the cost performance superiority of investment castings. Go ahead, push your design boundaries. In fact, design your components into one complex part with tight tolerances, then specify a custom alloy. And don't even worry about how to get it made, we'll do that for you. Aerometals has been helping firearms manufacturers for years. We provide them with a net or near net shape component. So we can eliminate a lot of secondary machining and we can also cast a lot of the internal geometry. They can incorporate complex designs right into the mold. And we call tolerances that most processes can't hold. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, draft on your part at all. We can uh, cast vertical sidewalls. It's a casting, so there's a fine grain. Uh, and uh, you gain an awful lot of strength. So our part will be finished as cast and can go straight into a gun. It gives you some design uh, freedom. Design flexibility. Your only limitation at this point with the advances in tooling technology is your imagination. The secret is investment castings, a manufacturing process that enables design freedom. This lost wax casting process can literally pour the most intricate metal parts into net or near net shapes with no need for machining, assembly, or finishing. Thin walls, complex geometries, and tight tolerances, all made with your own custom metallurgical properties. Sound good so far? Because of our process, we can dip blind pockets and blind holes, and we can do features that other processes just are not able to do. Uh, anything that you can inject, basically injection mold, uh, which is the process where we make that wax pattern, uh, you're able to cast. Um, a lot of times we get approached by companies that were our machine shops essentially providing uh, machine components to their firearms customers. We can provide them with a near net shape casting that leaves only a couple of features that they can themselves go in and machine. What the gunsmith or gunmaker will do is just tweak a few things here and there to make it their own. We provide them with a shortcut to the end result. We do all sorts of firearm components from frames, fire control groups, triggers, hammers, disconnects, sights, receivers, to slings, magazine releases, safeties. Um, we could also easily make a lot of these sight bases and that sort of thing, the gadgets, the levers. You know, one of the new markets that we're serving right now is the silencer industry. You know, as soon as the government allows those silencers to be bought on that 4473 firearms uh, certificate, that market's going to explode. I mean, it's just going to explode and we're there for it. We're, we're producing parts for that industry right now. Investment casting is a huge benefit for the firearms companies when their volumes have grown so dramatically and machining parts out of raw bar stock or other low volume methods won't keep up with the demand that they currently have. We provide a good solution for that. We can run from a few hundred to hundreds of thousands of parts per run. You know, we have, we have castings here that we produce half a million pieces a year. Uh, that would be a long run casting to us. Uh, most of the castings here are between 1,000 and 5,000 a year, maybe 10,000 pieces a year. The investment cast tolerances that, that we hold, which is industry standard, is 5,000 inch per inch. That is a target. And you have to talk about tolerances on a couple different levels. The plus or minus five per inch is a target big enough to hit when you make a tool and submit the first parts. However, what you're gonna see is much less variation than that over the course of the Part's life. We pour anywhere from, I'd say on average, anywhere from 100 to 200 different alloys on a regular basis. Stainless steels, aluminums, brasses, coppers, um, tool steels. If the customer wants more ductility. We have a spectrometer in-house and we buy raw materials and we do a lot of custom alloy specs for people who want a little more hardness or a little more corrosion resistance. So the only alloys that we can't do are vacuum melts like titanium. We'll buy base metal at, at 1020 and put in chrome and moly and nickel and, and make a 4340 or A2 tool steel, whichever is required. Add to that that we are engineering centric. You get a team with genuine enthusiasm for the science of investment casting. Well, yeah, we have a very strong uh, engineering group here. Most of them have been here for excess of 20 years. Uh, it's, it's pretty important to have people that have a lot of tenure because that is a skill, the dexterity and finesse it takes to um, put together some wax patterns is high. We have uh, uh, several mechanical engineers here, electrical engineers, industrial engineers, uh, computer engineers, and all of them are here to, to satisfy the customer's requirements for design. 
What happens if we could say, hey, this part here is 10 bucks for that same $10, we can incorporate a $2 piece. We can incorporate a $3 piece. We can look at reducing some of the machining so the total cost could also be saving you another $10 on top of that. Show me the project you have, I'll tell you if it is a good fit for us. If it's not, I'll steer you in the right direction. Give Aero Metals a shot. And making your firearm components.